So here's the Node MCU, and if you don't already know, the Node MCU has one ADC, and it's something silly like um, zero to one volt. It's not very useful. If I was to use this, I'd need more than one channel. Um, I'd need a few channels. So if I use the MCP3008, which is an ADC AC, that can give me eight channels. So I'll just put this down for a sec. So here's the MCP3008. They're very cheap and um, they're actually very good as well. So I'm going to wire this up to the Node MCU and it allow me to have eight channels, eight ADC channels on the Node MCU, which is of course when you've got the one channel and not a particularly good one at that. Okay, so I've got a Node MCU on the MCP3008. You're also going to need one of these, which is a little um, potentiometer or variable resistor. This one is, let's have a quick look, this is, hmm, it doesn't actually say, but maybe if you have a selection, um, I think that's probably about 10 kilo ohm or something like that. So I've also got a selection of um, little jumper leads. I've got a breadboard. So I'll put the node MCU here. And I'll put the MCP chip here. Okay. The little potentiometer or variable resistor, I'll put that in, let's say, here. Okay, so let's start with um, the data pins. So chip select, chip select is pin 10, which is this one, second from the end, and on the MC, on the node MCU, chip select is um, chip select is D8. Okay, the next one, D in, which is Mosey, which is, right, so D in there, which is 11, and data in is master out slave in, which is D7. Okay, the next one is data out, so it's meso, which is D6. And the next one is clock, which is D5. Clock D5. Okay, so this is what we've got up to now. Okay. And now, now for the easy bit. So we've got data ground. So ground, and um, we'll send that straight to ground here. Then we've got... Um, Pin 14 is also ground. Pin 14 also ground. Just focus in again there. Okay. Push those in a bit more. And then we've got VRAF and VDD. So VRAF is going to 3 volts. The last one is VDD, which goes in there, pin number 16, and that also goes to 3 volts. Okay, like this. Okay. Okay, I thought it might be a little bit useful just to explain what I've just done, very briefly of course. So, pin 9, which is this one here, is digital ground. The one next to it is chip select. The one next to that is data in. 
the one next to that is data out. Then we've got clock. Then we've got analog, um, analog ground. Then we've got voltage reference, and then we've got uh, VDD, which is voltage in. Now, going back to our little potentiometer, we'll have, we'll give that three volts. Let's see, three volts. Oops. And out from that can be, let's see, out from that can be channel one, and then, of course, we need the rest to go to ground, which is that one, like this. Okay, so we're done. Now I'll have to write the code for this. Okay, so what we have to do now is Go to your browser and go to this uh, address here. So it's https colon slash slash github.com slash no design slash mcp3008. When you're here, go to clone or download and then go to download zip. And then that will download. When it's downloaded, open it up. And then extract it. And extract and then you should be presented with this folder when you get the folder copy it and then go to your Arduino libraries folder and that will be here um, in my PC it's here it's C program files uh, program files 86 Arduino and libraries so go to that location and then paste the folder Okay, so that's done, and then go to Arduino and open a new sketch. Okay, so when you've got your new sketch, you'll need to do this. So, include. So you first need to include the MCP3008 library. So to do that, you just type that in. I also included the SPI library. Um, that's, I'm not sure if it's necessary, but I included it anyway. Um, because, after all, this is using SPI, so I don't know. Include it anyway. Then... This is the um, the way to call the class and get it set up. So MCP3008, ADC, and then you give it the pins. And the pins, of course, correspond to um, to how we wired it up earlier. So if yours are different, which they probably won't be, you would change them here. Um, for more info on that, you can look at the class library. It'll probably be in a readme or something like that. So in your setup loop, um, simply um, put serial begin that's just for um, diagnostics then in the loop I've just written this so I've written serial print line and a load of hyphens then serial print line value um, plus string ADC channel 0 channel 1 and that's so I can read all of the channels all at the same time and then um, that will help with a bit of diagnostics and uh, setting this thing up so when you've done that, of course, um, plug the unit in, check the COM port, and then upload. Okay, so it's uploaded, and now I'm just going to get the serial console up. Okay, and you can see that it's reading something. Um, you can see that the first one, uh, channel 0 or channel 1, whichever way you want to refer to it, is reading 53. There was a bit of noise there when it started up. Oh, the noise has come back now. But yeah, channel 1 or 0 is reading 54. So I'm just going to play with the potentiometer variable resistor, and we should see a change. And it should, should resolve from 0 to 1023. And then back down, should go to zero. Hmm. Okay, it's not going all the way down for some reason, but, but there you go. Uh, maybe too much noise. Okay, so I'll just put it into channel two now. 
So I've, put, I've taken my wire out of channel 0 or 1 and put it into channel 1 or 2, depending on which way you look at it. And I'll try again with the screwdriver, change the potentiometer, and you can see that 2 has gone up to 1023, and then back down. Okay, so it's working. I'll try and show you this on the camera now. Okay, so you can see the values here. You can see I've got it in channel 2, so I'll just change that. I'll put it into channel 8 or 7, depending on which way you want to look at it. Okay. And focus, focus back on the screen again. Okay, the light's not particularly good, I know, but... Right. I'll change this now. You should be able to see the last channel. Okay, 1023. And then back down slowly. Going down. Going down. And it's there. Okay, and that's it. So you can see it's working there. I'll just give you another close-up of the, the wiring. Okay, so once again, here's the wiring. You can see uh, there's the potentiometer. The 3 volt uh, voltage source, the 3 grounds. We've got um, the clock, MOSI, MISO, and chip select. Not in that order, necessarily. Um, you can see the MCP 3008 here. These are the, I'll just turn this round. These are the channels. And, uh, and there you go, so it's all wired up. Okay, and that concludes this video. So, as usual, Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, then um, don't forget to click subscribe if you're not already subscribed, and that way you'll be kept up to date with new videos that come out. If you're already subscribed, then thank you for your support. So, thank you again. Bye!